Hello and welcome to Gadget Joe and today we take a look at Thermaltex X1 RGB Gaming Keyboard. Thermaltex X1 RGB Gaming Keyboard is the latest in the company's premium range of accessories and is quite possibly one of the finest keyboards on the market currently. Join us as we unbox and take an in-depth review of the keyboard and find out more. The X1 box is traditional thermal tape business as usual with high quality images on a black backdrop with white and grey text. Inside the box you get the X1 itself packed in a thin foam sleeve with the cables hidden away behind a cardboard divider at the back. You get an instruction manual and warranty sheet, a pack containing 8 red keycaps, a keycap puller for removing keys, a removable wrist rest that slots into place on the keyboard and of course the X1 itself. The X1 is a simply stunning board with a sturdy build quality and some weight to it too. Using some high density plastics across the unit, it certainly feels very substantial and hard wearing. The matte finish looks good and it will fit in nicely amongst your setup. Whilst it would have been nice to see some metal on such a premium product, the functionality, appearance and lighting modes more than make up for this. It is a full size keyboard that houses a full 104 key layout with a number pad to the right and some additional function buttons to the top right. The keycaps utilise the same plastic matte finish with transparent lettering and characters designed to allow light through. Removing the keys is a simple affair by using the keycap puller included and simply slotting it over the sides of a key and pulling it out. The 8 included keycaps are good for a little customisation to the X1. These keycaps do away with a matte plastic finish and feature a glossy almost metallic red finish that actually feel different to the touch. They feature the same transparent lettering to allow the light through. You get the characters Q, W, E, R, A, S, D and F. At the top left of the X1 is a TT logo that is also transparent for the full RGB lighting effects to be seen through. Moving to the right hand upper side of a board you see some extra function buttons. These all serve as multimedia keys. Starting with a game mode key, backlighting key and a windows key to the left. You move on to the rubber scroll wheel to the right which adjusts system volume and a mute key to the right of this. Underneath this you get the stop previous, play, pause and forward keys. At the base of the X1 is a pair of plastic legs to adjust the height of a keyboard to reach your desired working height. Pulling this out will lift the X1 around 10mm higher. Pushing this back will reveal the slightly smaller tab to lift the board 5mm high and then all the way down to be completely flat. At the rear of the board is a USB pass through port and a 3.5mm audio jack ideal for plugging in headphones and or microphones and more. The cable is thick and braided in a highly dense tight woven fabric sleeving that provides stability and security for the X1. At the end of this are three connectors starting with a 3.5mm audio connector, a USB for connecting the keyboard and last but not least the USB pass through port connector for the USB point at the rear of the X1. Now that we have paid particular attention to the physical features of the X1, let's now turn our attention to the performance of the board itself. Starting with the keys, the X1 comes equipped with Cherry MX Speed Silver Switches and it delivers a fantastic user experience. Performing much like the popular Red series with a linear actuation and lower resistance that in turn delivers a speedy effortless key press ideal for gaming. Where the silver differs from the red however is that the actuation point is only 1.2mm compared to the 2mm found in the Red series with a total travel distance of just 3.4mm compared to the Red's 4mm. This allows you to use the keyboard much quicker and thus provides the ideal gaming key press for faster responses. Using the X1 is a dream and this low actuation point means that typing is very easy and your fingers simply glide across the keys with next to no effort at all. The X1 does also come in a cherry blue switch version for those that prefer a more classic mechanical keyboard experience with higher weighting and tactile bump and click making it ideal for typists. Moving away from the tactile feedback of the X1, now let's focus on the backlighting. Featuring a white panel beneath the keys to deflect the lighting evenly across the board, you get a very bright, colour rich and effective light show that illuminates behind each key and through the transparent letters and numbers on the keycaps themselves. As you can see, the X1 demonstrates a fantastic use of RGB lighting throughout, and it really does look impressive. With 16.8 million colours at your fingertips, you really can create your very own custom look for your keyboard. What's more is the X1 does feature individually programmable keys with dynamic key backlighting. The X1 has light modes that can be changed by a software in which we will touch upon shortly or direct from the keyboard itself. While it's not as comprehensive of a software, you can cycle through 11 different lighting modes straight from the keyboard using the function button and the light mode and a light effect button at the top. 
You can then cycle through the multiple modes and toggle the brightness, speed or colour. Now let's move on to the software of the X1. To download it, simply head over to the Thermal Tape page, type in X1 on a search bar and then under the support tab, click X1 RGB Gaming Keyboard Software and hit download. This will download the software to your PC. Once downloaded, click the X1 RGB app on your home screen and then it should look like this. If there are any firmware updates needed, it will ask you to update now or later. Click update now and let it flash the firmware update to your X1. Once done, you will come across the main screen. The interface is very similar to other TT software suites, however they have tidied it up a fair bit this time round, and everything is very simple and well laid out. Tabs along the front allow you to skip through different custom profiles and then you can customise your keyboard to your desired setup. The image of the X1 allows you to individually select a certain key and then using the drop down menu here, you can assign functions to each key. Ideal for those that game or utilise shortcuts or macros. Move over to the lighting tab at the top and you get a new layout. Here you can see the X1 again but it is coloured in red. To allow it to sync with the rest of your software, simply click on yes here and now you will see your X1 mirror the colours on the image here. Select a colour and click apply and it will change to that colour in real time on both the software and the board itself. You can now pick up any colour and apply it to the board. Click the drop down list again and you get to pulse which pulsates the lights through a desired effect. You can change the speed with this bar here. Next you have wave and it will show a wave effect lighting pattern. Again you can change the speed and brightness. What's more is you can decide to have it going down to the left, down, up or right. Next you have the spiral rainbow effect when you can control the speed and cycle through clockwise or anti-clockwise. Next we move to spectrum cycling and this is a relatively basic effect as it simply cycles through the RGB spectrum and you can control the speed of which too. Reactive is one of the more interesting colour modes as it then causes each individual key to light up as you press it. You can change the speed of the lighting and of course the colours too. Now you have flow and much like the reactive one previously it works by pressing the key. However, this time the whole row lights up and goes away from the key press. Again, colours can be changed. Ripple is once again another reactive mode and this time the whole keyboard will light up around the keys pressed in a rippled water effect. Raindrop is exactly as you would expect. It sets a light show on the keyboard that is representative as raindrops falling and it looks very effective. Again, colours and speeds can be selected. Snake Marquee is reminiscent of a classic snake game in which the lights travel across the keyboard in a snaking pattern to your colour of choice. You can select a rotation of this too. System Temperature is a very clever mode as it highlights the system temp by the colour of the lighting from blue to purple for high temps. Sound control is perhaps the most intuitive lighting mode the X1 offers. Playing a song then shows up on the keyboard in the form of an equaliser. There are multiple modes to choose from with the advantage of changing the colours to any of your choice and the light show achieved is absolutely fantastic as you can see.
And that pretty much wraps up the lighting modes for the X1. It can also be controlled via the TT RGB Plus app in the latest update that allows you to synchronise all of your TT RGB Eco lighting system together to complete the visual effects throughout your system. There is an app available too for the X1 that can do the same as a PC software to change the modes and colours from your phone. You can even use voice control to change your lighting, a feature I touched in more detail in our AI video that is linked above and in the description. Another party piece of the X1 is the gaming mode. This is used on your mobile phone app and will allow you to control your games via a controller that appears on your device. This then channels the correct characteristics from the board to the controller to allow you another input mode for gaming. So that brings us to the end of our review and unboxing of the X1 by Fermiltake, a simply stunning keyboard that looks very classy yet still carries an aggressive gaming stance with many interesting features available throughout the board and through software. Combined with a fantastically plentiful offering of light modes to suit your needs mean that it is very practical, heavily customizable and perfect for individuality. The Cherry MX Speed Silver Switches are a joy to use and typing is super easy with a floaty, effortless short actuation points. The switches are loud but not unbearable so it would still be suitable for a home or work environment. Taking all of this into consideration, I am delighted to award the X1 by Fermiltake our Gadget Joe Platinum Award of 5 stars. And that's not all, we were so impressed with the functionality, practicality and design that we have also given it our 2018 Keyboard of the Year Award too. As always, I will leave a link down below as to where you can get your hands on your very own X1 and if you enjoyed this video then give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe to join in our ever expanding community and that's it from me and I will see you in the next video.